Hey YouTube, um, this is Yermi Yahoo Weeps. Um, I'm trying to think where to start. Well, first I'm just going to say I think it's really odd that we go through life when we have to make decisions only having foresight after the fact. Um, so pretty much nobody knows what they're doing. Pretty much. Nobody knows what they're doing. Um, <laughs> no one knows what they're doing. No one knows what they're doing. Because they do things, they don't know exactly how it's going to affect the world around them, or themselves, ultimately, really. Um, so everybody's operating under very limited, limited foresight really not knowing what's going on. Which leads me to my concepts of reality. Um, okay, reality, things I like about reality. I like the variety that you can find. I like experience. Um, you know, even when I don't like experience, I, well, actually, I guess I have kind of a love-hate relationship with experience. But, because even when I don't like it, I like that I'm experiencing things, but the cumulative effects of my experiences throughout life has led me to the conclusion that I would rather not experience anything, that it's not worth it. But anyways, um, I like growth, the growth that, can ha that you go through in life. Um, I like beauty, and I like goodness. Very attracted to goodness. I really like goodness. Um, hmm. You lower this just a little bit. There, perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, issues I have with reality. Sexuality. Now, that, to me, is a big one. Um, how the, the two genders... Or, you know, I, I suppose if you're going on, you know, same-sex attraction, I'm just going to do what I experience with with this, which is um, opposite gender attraction. Now, how it happens, your, your um, sexual attraction kicks in at a pretty early age, and part of the reason for, sexual, for, for sex is to reproduce. So the world we live in is very, very much not conducive to reproducing offspring at the age that your sex, sex drives kicks in, okay? At least for men. And that's another thing with sexuality, is it differs from men and women. And what people are, basically how the sex works, the sex drive works, differs. Um, it's amazing to me that, um, that sex has worked as well as it has throughout the ages. But anyways, so sexuality, that's one issue I have with reality. Other issue I have with reality is time. Ooh, the sun just got darker. Um, time, that um, the more time passes, the closer you are to your death. Um, and you're still learning. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. But I'm still learning how to figure out life, and I've had quite a few years of doing this, and I still haven't gotten it figured out. And I wouldn't be surprised if at the time of my death, I still don't have life figured out. That's crazy. That's insane. Anyways, um, aging and maturity, that kind of goes along with time, what I'm just talking about, um, that as you age, like your youth, you have all the vitality and the youthfulness and everything, and and the um, how well your body is working right, and you don't know enough to really do a good job with it. So as you age and you start learning more on how to actually live, your body starts deteriorating and you start being in not as good shape. And I'm not even gonna. I, well, I'll briefly touch on what I was gonna say. Is that how much do you actually like who, like what you see of yourself and what you know of yourself? And from the world around you and what society feeds you, society feeds you, you 
it doesn't there's not um, how do I want to say it you have to fit a certain image and a certain mold to be likable even really um, which that's really messed up really messed up anyways um, concept of self I wonder what I was talking about with that the concept of yourself um, well that actually got kind of goes along right with what I was just talking about evil and suffering that's definitely a concept I have with reality um, or, or an issue I have with reality is um, the evil and suffering in the world and I think lots of people do I think lots of people do and I think it makes sense why um, and the rules that there are to reality um, there's there's the unspoken rules of, of society and the world around you and there's the there's all kinds of rules gravity for instance that's really easy um, but then there's the rules of like how to operate between people and there's the rules on um, you know if you have two people conversing interacting and they have their own makeup and everything there's things like um, if they have their own makeup then what am I trying to say sorry this is a little bit off the top of my head um, the conflicts that can happen between those two people and they may be very well intentioned but they may have differences because of going through life and and how they were born and, and the experience that they've had and their makeup and everything that make it so that they are not able to um, interact as optimally as could be as maybe even should be I don't know but um, so those are just some of the issues I have with reality but I've come to the conclusion that either reality either either I'm psychotic or reality is psychotic and I'll give you just a, a an example why um, if you take Nazi Germany for instance okay now someone rose to power in Nazi Germany the best of my understanding I'm not an expert on this somebody can correct me if they want to um, somebody rose to power in Nazi Germany and convinced the people that a certain subgroup of people was the enemy okay now this subgroup of people um, started getting enslaved or they started having to go to camps and just the way they were treated was abominable okay say you were a person in the subgroup of people say you were um, um, you made shoes okay you supported your family you had beliefs of whatever whether religious political whatever doesn't even matter you, you, you're going through life you're just your whole thing is you, you wanna like live a good life and make shoes for people and that's your income so then you get enslaved because of something that you had absolutely no choice in the matter and these people are doing things to bring you down psychologically physically the whole nine yards everything about your life is just just crap um, and that's just the world that you find yourself living in and you're born into this world through no choice of your own um, no choice where you're born when you're born um, the culture you're born into in a large part even the things you learn in life um, and you find yourself in this situation I don't know I just think it's psychotic so I, I, I think either I'm psychotic or reality psychotic and I think reality psychotic I think the world around me is psychotic and sometimes it's led me to think that maybe the people that go insane really have it figured out they really know what's going on because this world is insane I don't have I'm, I'm gonna I have a little bit more time I'm gonna do this um now that leads me back to my I have these three conclusions that I've come to okay either either the all there is an almighty or not if there's not an almighty then all is futility because there's so much suffering in the world and there's so much evil and horribleness for too many people that this world is just it, it's it's just futility you you suffer through this life which can be too horrible too much of the time 
and then you die and that's it. And what was the point? There was no point. Okay, so futility is the first option for if there is no Almighty. Second, if there is an Almighty and he does not, he's not everything we need, he's not complete goodness, he or she, however you want to put it, I don't, I don't really care, it doesn't really matter to me which gender you want to choose. Um, as, as long as, yeah, well actually that plays into it. Um, if they're as good as everything we need, if they're not, you know, if, if they're gender discriminate, discriminatory, or if they're um, only good for some people, but really terrible for others, that's futility too. If you have to measure up for this Almighty, if 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 you're gonna try and and you can't be good enough, um, like most of us, it, it's like there's I have I know there's this concept of what goodness is, and um, everybody falls short at some point. Everybody falls short of what goodness really is. Everybody. I have not known of a person who has not fallen short in some way to some degree of what goodness is. Um, that being the case, if there is an Almighty, then by definition, the Almighty has power over us and over what happens with us. And um, if, if the Almighty is malevolent, then all is futility. There's no point. In fact, it's even worse than if there was no Almighty. Because, um, hey, if there's no Almighty, at least the futility, there's an end to it. If the Almighty's malevolent, maybe there's no end in sight. That's just horrible. What a horrible, horrible, horrible thought. The third option, well, so my first two options, there's futility and even worse futility. The third option is that the Almighty is actually good and everything that we need him to be, he or she, whatever. Um, now, if that's the case, then everything is going to be okay then it's going to be all right, then there's a point to everything, even all the horribleness. Even the psychoticness of reality, which I really think is there. But, um, excuse me, I, I believe that's true. I, that's the conclusion I've come to, um, that it's not all in vain, that there is good, good does prevail, that there's good for everybody, um, that there is justice, there is personal responsibility, but that goodness reigns supreme. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm really interested to see anybody else's thoughts on this. Um, if you have anything you want to add or comment on, that'd be great. But, um... Uh, yeah, so that's kind of my take on things and how I think reality is actually psychotic. <sighs> crazy world we live in, crazy world. Anyways, crazy existence, really. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this has at least been mildly entertaining, if not possibly thought-provoking. And um, thanks. Please comment if you'd like to, make response videos, anything, um, that'd be great. Thank you, have a good life, and goodbye.